This is what I've been breathing. The air filter in my car. Vomit, vomit. So we're back again and we are changing the filter, the air conditioning filter in the car. I have already gone ahead and removed um, the entire glove compartment and everything under the bottom here. Um, and just a quick update, I changed the AC motor blower a little while ago. It is working famously. I did a great job with that. Um, so this is where the filter is, this thing right here. Um, and this is the new one which I purchased on Amazon. Um, no, I was not paid by this company. <laughs> I have like two videos. I don't think anybody's going to pay me for anything right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. It's pretty easy. You can see I have nails on, so obviously I can't do anything kind of crazy because I'm not going to break them. But, ugh. Oh my god. This is disgusting. I don't even want to touch it. There's like a bug. <laughs> There's a bug on it. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Yeah. Wow. So my car is an 05 Camry and I'm I'm guessing this was probably never ever ever changed. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna try to set my phone down somewhere where you'll be able to see me remove it. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, nope. okay, yeah, that looks just about okay. So I think it's really gross. So I think that you just kind of pluck it out from underneath. Um, these four here. I'm gonna use my screwdriver to help. Wow. Oh. Okay. This is pretty filthy, so I am going to wipe this down with um, some wet wipes or something. And again, this is the old filter. I'm going to open the new one um, just so you can kind of see the difference in um, how it should look. So obviously, if your filter looks like this, it's, you know, it's pretty bad. And remember that that's what you're breathing on a daily basis when you turn your AC on. So the new one comes in a little bag like this, and I'm just gonna pop this open. And this is your uh, new filter. In comparison to the old one. That's terrible. Um, I do have to say though, looking at the old one and the new one, you see how it has these on here? This one doesn't have it. And then also this one has like a black sponge. So this one does feel physically stronger. Um, it does feel more durable. So, I'm betting this is actually reusable. I'm gonna have to look it up. So I'm actually gonna throw this in the washing machine and see how it turns out because I, it, it does, I'm not gonna put it in the dryer though, I'll let it air dry. Um, but it, it looks to be reusable, mainly because of how this part looks. This is like plastic right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this in the machine and see what happens.
um, just you know just to see how that goes but this one is it does not look to be reusable like um, when it's finished I'm getting it dirty because of that one was so filthy um, that one was so um, much harder this one is much softer so I think this one is definitely disposable uh, okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean this up I'm gonna wipe it down um, best as I can and then um, I'll be right back hey guys I'm back so um, so here's the tray um, I did not wipe it down I actually washed it I just turned on the um, power hose um, on it and the buildup that was on it came off pretty quickly um, I just used a paper towel and kind of dabbed this to dry it a little bit um, and then we're gonna go ahead and just put this in and so this is the way that it goes into the car and we're gonna put it in this way not this way that way I don't think it has an upside or downside they both uh, look the same but I want to put it in this way as opposed to this way because this is the way the first one um, was in there with the lines uh, running um, in this direction as opposed to this direction so we're gonna put this in slide this here underneath um, please bear with me, I'm doing this with one hand. And that way. And then underneath that one. And that one. And that is it. in there pretty good all right so then we're gonna go ahead and slide this back into this slot I'm such a girl I feel like I want to put some like essential oils on it or something which I'm probably gonna do later to be honest with you the Sun is just really hot right now and I need to put this back in to turn on the AC okay so we're gonna turn the AC on because I'm boiling the cold air so I'm trying to figure out why I didn't do this when I was working on it from the very beginning it would have saved me from like burning up in the freaking car so I, I do want to mention that the cold air you know sometimes when your car has been off It came up like immediately and my car has not been turned on in maybe like two days. Um, so I do think that the filter makes a very huge difference. Obviously if it's clogged or blocked up, the air is not going to get through the way it should. And considering the way mine looked, it obviously had not been changed in forever. And um, I just bought the car in November. I started driving it in January. So it, it has not 